In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email account on an Android device. And depending on the device that you have, your icons may look different, but I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now make sure that you already have created a domain email account before you get started. So let's begin. <music> Alright, so to start, find your email icon, click that, and here I'm going to put in the information for the email account that I've already created, and I'm going to set up an account for my cupcake company, Auntie's Cupcakes. So I'll just type that in. And I'll type in the password that goes along with that email. And so now I'm going to choose Manual Setup. When I'm done that, and I'm going to create an IMAP account. IMAP allows for two-way communication between your mail server and your email program or your mobile device. So for example, if you made a change in your email program, such as marking or deleting an email, that change will also be made in your mail server. So here, we're going to input our information. So the username is the same as your email address. So I'll just finish typing that out. And to find our IMAP server, I'm just going to log into my computer. So after you've logged into your computer, sign in to website.com. and click Manage Email. And this is the information that you need right here. All right, so now that we've done that, let's put in the information. And for security, we're going to choose SSL. So now data can be transmitted in encrypted form over the internet. And we're just going to leave the port as is. Click Next. And the SMTP server is the same as for your incoming mail server. So just modify that. And again, we're going to choose SSL security. And so we are going to require sign-in because website.com does require authentication every time you send out an email. It's already pre-filled out. Just make sure that box is checked. And click Next. And here you can choose how often you want your device to check your email. So you have these options here. I'm going to choose 15 minutes. And click Next. So you have the option here of giving your account a name. And you can also choose your display name right here. And this is the name that others will see when you send out an email. I'm just going to change that to Andy. And now I'm done. So here's my account. So that's it. If you have any more questions or comments, you can always contact us at website.com through live chat, through telephoning us, and also through submitting a ticket. Thanks for watching.